will see how to calculate uh, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, remainder using event driven. So here is a body section of HTML. So form tag. So we had except first we will see how output. So this is text box. So if I enter 1 here enter any number supposed to calculate. So I will get all the result. So I will explain you how I had uh, done with this program. So form form uh, I form is used to uh, create a controls that is uh, elements. So text control we had created. Input type is equal to text second number. We had given name as A for second box text box as B and on when we click on this button it should so this is on click event so on click event uh, this it will call when we click on that button it will call this add function so it will move up so this function is written up so you can write function uh, of javascript in head section body section also so to write any javascript code you have to write script tag in head section so script tag if you are using notepad then use language is equal to javascript then you have to write function keyword write the function name see because this function will executed only when when we click on this event so this is on click event so when we click on which button that button so it will call which function add so it will jump here then it will solve this because this name should match so you have to give curly bracket here and close the curly bracket now uh, we had declared the variable add subtract so we'll do all the arithmetic operation so uh, what is the name of form so name of the form i had given f1 you can give any name so you have to give that name f1 dot a so what is the value uh, so here we'll be entering the value in this text box so name is a so whatever will enter so we are saying we want the value of that text box we had converted that because in text the data is in string form so we had to convert in integer so parse uh, int function is used to convert into integer same way we took second value the name of second box was b so we'll take the value by using this uh, f1 dot b dot value so we'll assign in y variable this first value will assign in x variable so these are all arithmetic operation so what is the value uh, it will take from this box it will assign to uh, x and uh, b value will assign to y that is a value will be assigned to x b value will be assigned to y so we'll do all the operation for addition plus you have to use x plus y will be assigned to add so i had declared here variable add subtract whatever uh, add subtract mal you can give any name you have to terminate each line by semicolon then for minus you have to use minus and x minus y assign to sub multiply x into y you are assigned to mul uh, x divided so for division you have to use slash sign this is called division it will give question so x divided by y it will assign to division uh, d variable x uh, percentage y this is also division but it will give remainder this slash will give division question uh, and when you use x percentage y this percentage is called modulus it gives remainder so we will assign this to remainder so by using document dot write we had printed all the value so add this is a message this is a value variable next line then sub then this all then we had used pr tag to move to next line so pr is html tag you can use even html tags in between javascript then you have to use a double quote so we'll run this again so now suppose I am entering value as 10, 10 here suppose as 60. So when I click on cal, so this is a button. So this is on click. When I click, so it had called that function known as add. Actually I had written add. You can give any name to the function. So I will change the name because we are not doing addition. We are doing all the operations. So I will give yeah right we are doing arithmetic operations so i'll change the name see you have to see uh, what name you, ha you are giving arit so I, I will give your name as arit so same name sh you should have because we are performing all the operations we are right okay because you have to see what name you had given okay 
now we'll run again so here suppose 5 1 so we got the answer so suppose let's take 7 3 so remainder 1 we got here by percentage sign we get a remainder so this is event driven program on click event okay so you can uh, see how to load this android app subscribe to my channel uh, you can see my previous videos how to load subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you